for the little buddy. This is Randall. I was wanting to make you a video to let you know what was going on. Uh, I've been having a few problems. Uh, hadn't been able to get online and do uh, any videos here for a while. Uh, I've got uh, a problem with my face breaking out sometimes, turning real red. I don't know what it was, but it, it, it cleared up. Uh, I guess I, I'm sort of, uh, uh, I don't know what you'd call uh, self-thinking about uh, stuff like that. You know, I mean, I, I just, uh, I hate to look bad in front of anybody when I'm on the camera anyway. Uh, but. Uh, I appreciate y'all bearing with me and uh, helping me along watching my videos as, anyway. I've been doing a lot of them with AI here lately and uh, I wanted to get on here uh, since I had the time. I've been doing a lot of stuff out here on the farm and hadn't really had time to do a whole lot. Uh, but. Uh, uh, Anyway, I wanted to tell you all about my life and how it's been. Uh, I've been through uh, two marriages and then uh, I'm on my third one now. Hopefully if this is the last one. I can't, I can't stand many of them. They're, they're not, not any good, uh, really. Uh, the last marriage I was with a woman 18 years and I had four children by her. And uh, it's like I wrote that other video about, or that I made that other video about my children doing me like they do. And, uh, you know, I did everything for them kids that I could do, and I worked my tail off. I worked my butt off for 24 hours a day, nearly. I mean, I'd work from 7 o'clock in the morning till way well, on up in the night, 10, 11 o'clock at night, every night, to make sure they had a roof on their head and make sure that they uh, were, I tried to raise them right, I tried to raise them like they were supposed to be raised, but I had people working against me on that, uh, or my ex-wife for one. Uh, but anyway, that's neither here or there, or there, and and she probably had her reasons, and and I'm sure that uh, I I wasn't per the perfect gentleman to her anyway. I know I wasn't, but uh, thing about it is, you you just try the best you can to do what you can for them, and you know when you get older, it uh, they sort of break your heart, you know, but. You know that's okay. I I got. They turned out okay. They turned out all right. Uh, I just want to tell you a little about my life and all. Of course, when we was, I was in that last marriage. I, I'd always drank quite a bit, but uh, up till uh, right before we got a divorce, and uh, I decided it, she wasn't going to get straightened out if I did you know I had to straighten myself out before I could do anything else and I'm the only one that I could change to make things different make things better anyway for myself and uh, I couldn't change her you know I seen that right quick uh, well it wasn't right quick because she lied to me about a lot of that stuff and whatever though uh, I was uh working a job at a factory, working on CNC machines, and then uh, working on uh, uh, appliances at night when I'd get off. And uh, I was doing real well for a long time, I thought, but her bucket was deeper than mine was. <laughs> I just couldn't afford to keep her up anymore. But uh, anyway, uh, I'd write her a check on uh, Friday, you know, tell her to go get clothes or whatever she needs to get. She goes complaining about I didn't ever get her nothing or whatever. And uh, she'd, uh, she'd go spend that and uh, 
go write herself a check out of the account uh, the next week and wouldn't tell me nothing about it. But anyway, uh, uh, I've had a rough way to go. And uh, I had cancer back in, uh, colon cancer back in 2010. And uh, I, I, I went and made it through that all right. I sort of had a rough rough way to go over there for a while, but uh, it came out all right. Uh, I was offered a job at uh, TVA uh, at that time, and I was afraid I wasn't going to be able to go to work for them, but, uh, you know, I got to thinking about it when the doctor, uh, uh, when the doctor, uh, uh, whatever, found out I had it, you know, he said, I'd go in for surgery as quick as possible. And I told him, I said, well, I've been just offered a job with TVA. I said, what do you think about it? He said, I think you better get in there for surgery. We'll have to schedule it pretty quick and get you get you to work. <laughs> and uh, so I went in for surgery and come out, and I had to go back for two weeks. and. Uh, a, another hospital to get the infection out of me. I've had a, what they call pseudomonas infection. And uh, I called TVA and told them that uh, I was going to go ahead and have the surgery done. I've been diagnosed with it. And uh, I thought that was the only right thing to do since they called me off and the job, you know. And uh, and they called me back and told me they'd, they'd hold my position till the next month. So uh, they did, and uh, I worked for them for uh, about 11 years after that. Uh, I'd, uh, I had to transfer uh, one time to go to another plant because they was closing another one. That's when they was closing the new Johnsonville plant, and I moved to Gallatin. But, uh, when, back when uh, uh, I decided to get a divorce from my wife, my last wife, uh, I'd, uh, I was bad about drinking. Like I say, I had to change and something, and I changed myself. I went and got help and I quit drinking. Well, I've, I've got, I went a long way uh, since then. That's been... That was back in 2003. I quit drinking and I also quit smoking right after that. Well, uh, when I finally decided to get a divorce from her, I went to court and uh, the, the judge gave me custody of the kids. And I had a buddy of mine in AA that helped me out with them for a while because I, I had to work. There wasn't no two ways about it. I had to get out and make a living. And uh, that cancer done took about everything that, that I could scratch up to get by, you know, and pay the, the hospital bills that was left over and stuff. And I don't know that it still covered it. I think my mother and my brother helped out partially on that. I don't know. They never would tell me anything if they did, uh, or they never did tell me anything if they did. But uh, anyway, uh, when I quit drinking, that was probably the best decision I ever made in my life because I'd never made it anywhere. I wouldn't have made it anywhere without I didn't quit drinking first. I'd have sat right there, felt sorry for myself, and and. Uh, just making things worse for myself, really. So, uh, I wanted to let some of the younger people know out there that you could get get by and make good good for yourself because uh, I did, I, and I, I did real well. Uh, until I decided to retire, and when I decided to retire, I, I didn't... Uh, uh, get all my finances like I was supposed to and I spent, spent a lot more money than I needed to, you know, but things worked out all right, I guess. They still, still sort of slow, but uh, I, I think things are looking better for me. Uh, that's why I got on here on YouTube to 
try to show younger people that there's a better way of life than out there just drinking, stealing and lying to people and just drinking all the time. That just ain't no way to live. You can't. It, I thought I had fun back then, but I didn't have fun. I, I have fun with anything I do now. I mean, I can be out there working my tail off and still have fun doing it. But uh, I wanted to make this video and and fill you in on who I was and uh, how my life's going and and uh, and. I want you to know that uh, uh, I could uh, probably teach you some stuff if you wanted to know. Uh, if you, you ever have any questions about appliance repair or anything like that, or farming, I'll be glad to answer your questions if you just leave me a message or comment uh, on my videos. Uh, I'll be glad for somebody to have somebody to talk to on there because I don't most of the people that that talk to me is out for different uh, different things than just talking about something that might help them you know uh, I know I, I work on the farm here and work on everything myself I don't I don't have no mechanic come to the house or a plumber we get a plumber every now and then when I don't feel like fooling with a rental property over across the street, but uh, I usually try to take care of it myself to save the money, you know. We like to go camping and go out and, and stuff and uh, have a good time and we got, it, it costs money to go out and do stuff like that. And, uh, uh, but now I got this farm out here and we, have gardens and chickens and and I don't know I thought about getting some more animals maybe but that feed cost a lot of money <laughs> if it weren't for having all the eggs I wanted to eat uh, I wouldn't have them chickens really I don't guess but we, we enjoy getting out doing it and fooling with the fish out here the fish ponds and stuff and uh, we really enjoy, enjoy it out here I don't I don't run around nowhere unless I have to go get groceries or do something like that, you know, most of the time. But uh, uh, I wanted to be able to, the reason I'm doing this YouTube channel is I wanted to show younger people that uh, they could get into this type of a, a, a career. It's a career, actually. I mean, it sort of a, it, it sort of takes a while to get going in it, and, and you have to work at it. But you got to be able to stay persistent at it all the time. And I do. I stay persistent at it. But sometimes I have to. Uh, well, they. That's what they make this AI for now. Anyway, you can make your video on that AI. Of, you know, with whatever you want to whatever topic you want to put on it, you know, and uh, it makes it a lot quicker, you know, to do, and uh, I know I fooled with this computer about an hour before I ever uh, got my video to work in a while ago, or the sound on it anyway, so uh, uh, it takes it takes a while to make these type videos here, I could go on uh, in video and and make one of them AI ones in about 10 minutes and it sets it through just perfect and uh, but uh, I'd like I'd like for y'all to uh, comment and, and let me know what kind of videos you like watching I don't know what uh, what my uh, subscribers like watching I've had a few to comment on them but I hadn't I hadn't talked to him much on there, but uh, uh, if y'all have any comments, feel free to give me a, uh, give me a comment. Send me a comment on YouTube and let me know what uh, what's going on, what you need help with, or whatever. I'll be glad to help you any way I can. That's that's what I'm here for. And you know, it, it's sort of like uh, that. They, my sponsor used to tell me 
uh, he said, now, I'm going to tell you this, Randall, and he said, but he said, uh, it's sort of like uh, somebody telling you when you jump out of an airplane to pull the parachute, pull the rope on the parachute after you count to three. He said, you ain't got to do it, but he said, it's the best thing to do it, yeah. He, he told me like that, he said, yeah, you don't have to listen to a thing I say. But he said, it's sort of like somebody jumped out of a plane and parachute. He said, uh, if the man tells you to pull the cord after you count to three, you better pull it. Well, uh, uh, I just, uh, I wanted to call and, and or send a video and let y'all know uh, that I was here for you and uh, find out uh, what your thoughts were, what you liked, what you didn't like, and uh, we'll go from there. But uh, I've been retired for three years now, and, and I've been doing this for probably close to a year now. And I don't, uh, I don't think I'll be quitting it anytime soon. I, I just. I just like to stay busy and do stuff like that. So anyway, just uh, and you know what? It it don't matter. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, I I don't talk anything but English, and I have a hard time doing that sometimes. But uh, uh, if if any, anybody wants to comment. I'll be glad to talk to you. You know, even if you've got a comment saying you don't like it, that's fine. I, I'll, I'll talk back to you. I'll talk back just, just like I would if, if you were commenting because you liked it. You know, I mean, you got to take the good with the bad. You got to you got to get the bad comments to know whether you're doing any bad or good or not. You know, and. You know, it don't really matter to me, but uh, I'm in it for the long haul, and I'm going to be here, you know. So if, if you want to comment, feel free to. I, I won't say a word, I promise you. But, uh, yeah, I'll say something to you, but, I mean, I ain't going to fuss about it. I mean, there ain't no need to fuss about it. But uh, just just holler at me, and I'll I'll get back on here again and, and give you some tips on some stuff. And I need to write me out a script and stuff uh, to find out, you know, when I find out more about what y'all like to watch and everything. But uh, just holler at me, and and uh, we'll go from there. Hey, I'm glad y'all are here watching today, and I appreciate all you do. Thanks for coming to my channel. And I'm going to put up another live video here before long. Uh, just, uh, I'll, I'll try to get them to put a, a thing, a notice out for it. If you got your notifications on, they'll tell you when I have it. Okay, thank you for watching. And please hit the subscribe button and the like. Thank you.